Okay, we are going to cover this requirement okay, for your assessment. Okay. Uh, converting base 10 number to hexadecimal All right. or hexa for short. So try this question first. Okay, so you're given a base 10 ternary number, all right, 2004, which is 2004, and you're supposed to convert it into the equivalent of hexadecimal. All right, uh, you, if you like to try this one out, uh, pause the video, all right, because uh, the next subsequent slides and all, we will go through the steps. So what should we do? Well, we will divide, okay. But taking, uh, not dividing to the decimal point. Uh, we do not want decimal, but we want to look at the remainder. Right. So just take your number, base ten number, two thousand and four. Divide by sixteen. Why sixteen? Because hexadecimal is sixteen. Okay. So I see the hex. All right, and the decimal, so 16. So when you take 2004 divided by 16, you will get 125 with four remainder. Okay, just write it down first. All right, later we'll make use of this. Then take your 125 divided by 16 again, you get 7. And this time you get remainder 13. Well, if you try to divide 7 with 16, of course, 16 is larger than 7, so you can't actually divide it, alright? So that will give you the last remainder, which is 7, alright? So now you have all the remainders. So what is the next step? Well from bottom remember it is from bottom okay least upward so 7 13 4 okay remember from the bottom okay don't make that mistake 7 13 and 4 all right 7 and 13 and 4 the 7 and the 4 is okay we can accept that why because they are single character or single digit All right single digit 13 however is a double digit so we need to do something about 13 well what is the equivalent of 13 in hexadecimal well, of course, if you go through the list, all right, after 9, you have A, all right, B, C, D. So we know that it is D, all right, replace your 13 with the D. And this is your answer, all right. So the hexadecimal answer is 7, D, 4. So it's not really that difficult, okay, but uh, the Problem is no calculator. All right, so you have to be able to do this without the use of a calculator. 